Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Introduction to Programming Part 1. In this session, I will give you an introduction to Rhino and Grasshopper and how to start with the scripting in Grasshopper. So, first of all, we start the program Rhino. After starting Rhino, you see the typical CID interface. You have four viewports, so the top view and um, the perspective. You can navigate um, with the right mouse button in the viewports. If you click the right mouse button with the pan function, if you um, use the mouse wheel, you can zoom in and zoom out. And with the shift button pressed and the right mouse wheel, um, you have also this, the pan in the perspective. Only the right mouse button in the perspective rotates it. And with the control um, button hold and right mouse button, you can zoom in and out, as well as with the mouse. By double clicking on a viewport, you can increase it to the full um, screen. And once again, double click on it, you can decrease the size. On the right side, you have the layers um, and other tabs, but we will use primarily the layers in the following. And in the standard tab, you have the most used commands, like also rotating viewport, zoom in and zoom out, that you can access here from this menu. <coughs> the other functions, um, they are introduced in the other course, Parametric um, Design and Analysis, which you should choose if you want to learn more about Rhino. We use it primarily as a uh, viewer, a geometry viewer, for um, what we do in our uh, Grasshopper window, especially with the scripting. To start Grasshopper, you can either type in Grasshopper in the command line and press enter, or you go to the Grasshopper icon, the, which is uh, in Rhino 6. You can find it in the standard tab already by default. So if you open Grasshopper and you see it loads a new window, this is a kind of a plugin for Rhino to control all the commands that you have in Rhino parametrically from Grasshopper. Um, let's wait until it's started. This may need a while depending on how many additional components you've installed after it loads, and you see the interface in Grasshopper. Uh, at the top view, you have the components that you can drag and drop to the main canvas of Grasshopper. If it's so small, um, as it is in my case, that you only see the black names of the tabs, which if you click on it, you see all the commands that are behind it. But you can also increase the size of this uh, I can tap at the top. Now you can drag and drop an icon to the canvas, like our C Sharp script icon or um, component. The alternative way to place it on the canvas is if you double click on it and type in, in this case, C Sharp. Then you see uh, the context menu where you can select the corresponding component either by the mouse or and enter, and once again we place the C-sharp component on the canvas. The C-sharp component, um, that's our main component for the beginning, because this um, is the, the starting point for writing our scripts in Grasshopper. To open the script window, um, which we need in the following, you double-click on the C-sharp name of the component. Um, some of you may not see the name, but um, an icon, and this is controlled by the display menu. If you draw icons, um, then you see changes to an icon, and all the components have their individual icons, but I prefer to see the name of the component. You can also change it by right mouse click on the component, then you see the name. Um, we can call it my First C sharp script, press enter, and then you've given it an own name. 
If we double click on the component, it opens the C sharp script window, which we will need for our scripts. And you see here also the input parameters that are shown on the component. They are the input parameters for our script. So the object X and object Y, these are our parameters that are defined here. These are the input one, the input parameters. We also have output parameters. Um, in this case, it's the A, which you see here, the reference object A. And there is the out parameter, um, which we cannot change. This is always um, a predefined output channel um, where we can print um, certain commands or certain um, content from our script, which I will show you later. To see um, the outcome of a print command, we need a panel, which you can again either um, call by typing or by double clicking on the canvas and type panel and press enter. And we need to connect the out window to the panel. This panel is also our debug window, means if we make some mistake in our code, if we write something in the wrong way or have a logical error, we will receive the error message in our panel tab or in the panel component. What we may need as well is to change the input parameters, respectively the output parameters. First of all, we can add or delete parameters. If you zoom in to the component, you see plus and minus icons. With the minus, you can delete an input parameter, and with the plus, you can add a parameter. If we delete a parameter, we only have one here. And if we look into the script editor, um, we still have two input parameters in our script. This is because the script editor is not updating automatically in before you close it and open it again. So you need to close the editor and open it again. And now you can see. Um, we have only one input parameter, that's the X. We can also change the type of the input parameter by right mouse click on the parameter and you see here the, um, the type, which kind of data we will um, send to the component and we can change this to another one, for example, an integer. And Afterwards, once again, you need to close it and open it. You see you changed the type of your input parameter. What these data type, um, these different data types mean, um, that's um, what I explain you in the next session.